Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here at the Second Swing Minnetonka store on the putting green, our new putting green here at Minnetonka, joined by Michael Geiger to test some new putters from Ping, the extension of the Ping 2023 line. We have the Ping 2024 putters. Uh, so there's actually a total of six models. We only have two of them today to test, however. But um, so Michael, first, just first impression, you've got the answer in your hand there, mm -hmm. or the answer to, excuse me, I have the Catch G. Um, what are you seeing from these in your first initial impression? Yeah, I would say like the big banner headline for this line is sort of trendy meets traditional. I think Ping, uh, you know, such a legend in the in the world of golf putter manufacturers, uh, you know, so many iconic designs. But what they've done, I think, which is so great, is they have a huge variety of options for golfers, yes. whether you like insert or milled, whether you like a lighter shaft, a heavier shaft, an aluminate you know, less uh, kind of a stripped down aesthetic with, with fewer laminates. Ping kind of has everything for you with this line. Yeah, there's a total of six here editions, as we talked about. You have the answer to, the answer D, then you also go down to the B60, the higher, higher MOI Tyne H, mm -hmm. then of course the Fetch, and then the Catch G. So uh, there's, you know, like you mentioned, everything that you might want, there's just, they cover every type of putter, you know, out there. If you're looking for that kind of slimmed down, classic answer to yep. they have that uh, very minimal distractions for someone that likes it simple but if you really want that high moi lots of alignment aids or lots of things to look at you have something like here the catch g so um, and they cover every base and then i also will talk a little bit about two at the end of the video but they very much call out the, the stroke type that yes. the putter is for so um, right now i have the catch g which is as you can see actually on the shaft here we'll, we'll show a shot of that but the straight arc sticker here mm -hmm. and then you've got a slight arc sticker right. on the answer too so um, what we're going to do is we're going to have we have a putt here set up on the putting green you're going to see it's got a little bit of break to the left here michael i know you've got it some does. warming up to do but we're going to just going to have you hit a few putts with each putter and then we'll get your feedback on um, what you think of each model and and um, we'll also kind of show the golfers about our greens here and how much they break let's do it All right, first putter, answer two. Yep. Um, what are we thinking? Like that's it's the kind of the most classic design in golf right yep. now. So this is, a, I guess, how does it compare to maybe something that you're used to? It, it's a beautifully looking blade. Um, I've got more of kind of a mid mallet, uh, but it does have a lot of toe hang. So uh, kind of the slight arcing stroke yep. that this putter promotes uh, definitely appeals to me. I mean, it's the answer shape is so classic. It's yep. beautiful to look at. Uh, I will say, you know, with this shaft, it's very heavy feeling. So yeah. I think for, for players that maybe are kind of more mallet, you know, prefer a mallet, like that kind of heavier, heavier feel, more forgiveness. This, this putter has sort of that, that kind of heavy feel to it, so, which mm -hmm. I do like. Yeah, that's an interesting, I think it's one of the newer shaft options too, or shaft possibilities with these putters, is that composite one there. Ooh, look at that snap at the end. Right. Okay. Well, are, yeah. you, are you in the market for a new putter, Michael? Uh, I might be, this, it has a beautiful <laughs> feel, very, uh, very soft. That's one of the things we're going to get your opinion on, too, is, is the difference in the feel, because you've got kind of the shallow mill there. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the putters have that shallow mill face, and then others have this P-back soft insert. I mean, that was going to go that, in. Of course. That was going to go in. Got interference on the play. No, it's just lovely. The, that second one was hit more on the toe mm -hmm. and still had a nice okay. roll to it. It was going to drop if you didn't have a ball in the way. Ooh. And granted, we if we wanted to truly test out a putter, right, we would hit more than this little eight, nine footer. But for the sake of the video, we'll hit this one. Let Michael get into a rhythm here with the break and everything. Curls it in. Center, All right. center of the bottom. Let's give you one more here right. with the answer to. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that does snap. So again, you, you said it's pretty simplistic. Yep. It's a classic answer yep. model. And obviously there's other sort of blades or, or slide arc models as well in the series. But um, how do you feel about that color, that shape, and that feel? Yeah, it's got the kind of this matte gray, uh, really nice to look at. I feel like in, the, in a bright sun, it's not gonna be an mm -hmm. issue. So especially if you're kind of in the Southern United States, you get a lot more sun than we do in Minnesota. Yes. That's, that's not gonna be a hindrance. Just really classic, clean lines. Uh, it's an answer. It's, it's gorgeous it's, to look at. It is an answer. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. So, all right, let's try this one now. Give me the catch G. Kind of first, give me your, you know, how much different it is. Obviously, it's very different to look down at a dress. So well, what, I'd what say, do you, see you right know, away? first and foremost, 
you can pick up a ball, so that's kind of oh, neat. Yeah, that uh, is catch. So that's kind of fun. Um, sure. But obviously the p backs insert is, is yeah. one of the first things you see. Um, kind of looks just much more modern than, than the yeah. answer does. It's it's kind of it's where that trendy word kind of comes in. There's a lot of alignment aids that frames the ball really nice and you know a lot of nice kind of mallet forgiveness to look at. So definitely a yeah. confidence inducing profile. Sure, sure. yeah. Uh, let's, let's hit roll a few here and I, my, I suspect that's going to feel a little softer than this one, but See, audibly, I hear almost nothing yeah. off yeah. of that one. It's, it's much quieter. Yeah, very muted. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. I, I would, it's, that's it's, the big word for me. I almost barely, I barely heard that first time. Yeah. Again, that one hit on the toe, but still oh, yeah. rolls pretty true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you kind of, do you feel this one being a little more stable maybe? Definitely, yeah. definitely. You feel almost, when you feel the toe, the, the head through the strike, you feel the stability. It doesn't yeah, it's kind of move one, one way or the other, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, oh, we'll count that one. That one's money. Oh my Never goodness mind. sakes. This is the one of those impossible putts, I think. Right. What are your thoughts on those three uh, alignment aids? Kind yeah. Of, because there's, well, I shouldn't say three alignment aids. It's basically one alignment aid, but there's, on this particular model, there's three kind of vibrant white lines on the crown there that kind of help, line, I guess, how does it? How no, it's really nice. I think uh, one of my main kind of pushbacks to, to a lot of bigger mallets is I find them kind of hard to align. Yeah. And this this is very easy to, to frame your eyes. Yeah. It's just... That, in a way, it's simple. It, it, it is. What oh, could no, be a, it's, it's not, a larger modern mallet. You but. see much more... You see a lot of mallets with kind of flashier, lot, you know, kind yeah. of a lot going on. This is pretty, especially with the black and white look. Is um, It's very nice to look at. It's also very nice to hit a hard pull. Yeah. You're gonna knock this one in, and it's gonna be the end of the, the end of the testing portion. Oh yeah, firm in the center. There you go. All right. Well, before we get into the, I guess, final thoughts here, but sure. um, you know. Big differences between the two, did you kind of summarize? Again, this is just two of the six models, right? And there's a bunch sure. of other options that we could test. Don't have all six at this time, unfortunately, but big differences between these two. I'd say in general, what you'd think between kind of a blade and a mallet. With the blade, you get a little more responsive, maybe a touch softer. You, you start scaling up in size to the bigger mallet. You get a lot more stability. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a bit more muted, you know, with that p backs insert. It's, it's got that very distinct feel related to, yeah. you know, kind of that milled blade. So. You know, whether you're preferring, for, you know, a little more forgiveness, a little more stability, maybe think about kind of a bigger mallet. And if you want kind of a classic soft feeling putter, I'd start to, you know, think about the answer or, or blade like putter. Well, Michael, testing complete there. It was kind of an abbreviated testing portion here mm -hmm. with just a couple of the models, but um, we found out some cool things. Uh, we know that the mallets are probably, um, in terms of sound, going to be a lot quieter. It's going to be a very different feel than the shallow mill here right um, but I think in terms of you know we kind of like to answer the question who's it for in this section right and I think the big thing we're going to go back to it again is the sort of archetype that each of these putters is built for it's so like the answer to for example here slight arc so there's going to be some toe hang as you're going to see here that club head is dangling right there's going to be some toe hang there right there's going to be none of that with the catch g so what you're going to the result of that is if you you basically need to know your stroke type and then from there you can get dialed in right yeah i think when it comes to to getting a putter it's such an individual club that i think getting fit is is so beneficial because there's really two things there's one there's the stroke type there's you know kind of there's the science there's all the things in a quintech quintech lab yeah. that we'd be able to help you with but then of course it's so personal so much of a putter just comes down to 
Do you like the way it looks? Do you like the way it feels? Which really can only be simulated in person in our store. So yeah. you really can't overstate the benefits of a putter fitting. Right, exactly. The Ping does a great job with, again, with this series offering so many options, so many head types, uh, stroke types as well. There's also strong arc putters in the 2023 and 2024 series. Uh, so it, you'd first need to go find out your stroke type and you can do that in a putter fitting and second swing. Um, and then from there, we can help you dial in which of these Ping putters is gonna be right for you. Two great options here today, as you said, the Catch G and the Answer 2, but of course, uh, coming in to get fit is going to be the best way. To Absolutely. Sure. So golfers, schedule that fitting and also shop at Second Swing for Ping 2023 and 2024 putters.